Well, howdy again, folks. All right, so I'm fixing to do a cam swap, push rods, springs, dual springs. And um, I didn't have a um, spring installation tool that my friend did. So I bought the same tool that he had because I know it works. I've seen him use it. And um, it's actually pretty cool. It's the Orion Motor Tech spring installation tool. You see the part number right there. I got this off of Amazon. This costs 20 bucks. Now, they're usually pretty expensive for good ones. I'm going to tell you right now, this is $20. And this is the one my buddy has. He's probably used it more than 30 times. And that's not exaggerating. So... <clears throat> it's a good unit I don't see a problem with these I did upgrade this a little bit and I'll tell you how I did that but if you're looking for a spring installation tool I would suggest this and then just do what I did I'll show you in a second it's a very nice tool comes in its own little case like this comes with your instructions everything you need to know all the pieces that are supposed to be with this the little wrenches you really don't need all that and what it's supposed to look like when it's complete this is the little carrying case like I said it's actually pretty nice compared to buying one for 60 70 80 bucks these don't even flex And see, I've seen, I've seen people use them where they use this side towards the springs. I've seen people use them where this side goes, rides inside the spring. I'm sure there's a right and a wrong, but obviously both sides work. It comes with your blue anodized billet aluminum piece. And it's pretty nice quality. comes with three bolts assuming it's one extra comes with uh, two extra long ones which is going to be right here for the top one for the to compress your springs I'm assuming if you break one comes with all your little washers you know, you'd put grease in between that. And then uh, screw it down. Helps it move. Then you have your main piece. It's pretty solid, pretty thick. Um, this is drilled at an angle. And it's supposed to be used at that angle. So in other words, when you bolt this down to the head and your springs are right here, this is not supposed to be facing away. It's supposed to be facing towards the bracket itself. So you would have this part bolted down to the head and then you can see how it angles. That's the part that goes towards the spring. So, if you guys watch my videos, you know what I always do. You get the hardest stainless steel hardware you can get. Stainless steel hardware and bolts, I try to use for everything. So, obviously it's... it's this is going to be your top piece if you're bolting it on. That's going to go in your head. That's going to go in your head.
and that's what it's going to look like. So that's wrong. How that actually works is Let me get this camera adjusted. How that actually works is this comes in from the bottom. might take you a day or two to get it on now I can feel with this stainless bolt it's a lot more solid and it fits the hole better compared to using the one they give you this is kind of loose in there and it just doesn't feel right with the stainless it's just solid so and then you put this piece on And that's how you're going to be. So the only thing I upgraded with the bolts. Everything else is perfect. And that's it, folks. It's a really good item for the price. You don't have to spend a lot of crazy money. I will show the install of putting the cam. That was a custom grind cam from Commotion. I got the uh, push rods, I've got the lifters, dual springs, this one's going to be a lot of fun, you'll want to watch this one, but I just wanted to showcase this tool, <clears throat> hope this helped you any. If you do buy it, I 1000% recommend that you put the stainless hardware on it and you'll never have a problem with this. Alright guys, thanks for watching.